Welcome to 501 Matley, where we work smart, not hard. In today's video, we'll be looking at Sierpinski's Triangle, which is named after Wojciech Sierpinski, the Polish mathematician who first came up with the idea of this triangle. So, what exactly is this triangle? Well, it is what we call a fractal and it is obtained by doing an infinite reiterative process whereby we start off with an equilateral triangle and then we find the midpoints of the three sides of that equilateral triangle connect them and the middle triangle is then taken out the three remaining triangles that same step is repeated we find the midpoints of those three we connect them and we take out the middle triangles and that step is repeated infinitely. The challenge today is to find the area of Sierpinski's triangle after that process has been completed infinitely. Give it a try, pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'll show the solution like this. So we first begin by looking at that middle triangle shaded in green. What's going to be the area of that middle triangle? Well, since it's connecting the midpoints, as you can see, it takes the original triangle and divides it into four equal pieces. So that green triangle has an area of one fourth. So we first subtract one fourth from the original area, which is one. Let's say it's unit one compared to the green triangle. Yes. Then that next triangle at the top in yellow, that would be one fourth of one fourth. And there are three of them. So we are going to subtract another fraction, which is going to be three times the one sixteenth. Then that orange triangle, it is one fourth of one sixteenth. So that will be one sixty fourth. And then when we count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So we're going to further take away nine of those one sixty four triangles. And let's do one more. That little red triangle at the top, that will be one fourth of one sixty fourth. So that is one two fifty six. And how many of those are there? Let's count. There are twenty seven of them. So, what do we have here? We have an infinite process repeating. We can simplify by multiplying, so it's minus one fourth, minus three sixteenths, and minus nine sixty fourths, and so on and so forth. Then we notice that we are subtracting all of those, so really we can just add those and just subtract it once if we factorize it. Next, we can look at that as one fourth times three fourths, which is the three sixteenths. 1 fourth times 9 sixteenths, which is the 9 over 64, and 1 fourth times 27 over 64, which is the 27 over 256. When we look at it, that 9 sixteenths is related to the 3 fourths. It's the square of 3 fourths. That 27 over 64 is the cube of 3 fourths. So, when we look at this infinite sum, we can see that it is a geometric series whereby if we compare it to a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed and so on and so forth that infinite sum can be found using the formula s is equal to a over 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio and this series will converge only if the absolute value of the common ratio is less than one so identifying our values here we see that the first term a is one fourth and the common ratio r is three fourths substituting into our formula we'll have one minus that infinite sum which will be calculated using the formula one fourth divided by one minus three fourths simplifying one minus three fourths is one fourth so we have one fourth divided by one fourth which is one so the area is 1 minus 1, which leaves us with the astonishing fact that the area of the Sierpinski triangle is 0. Isn't that amazing? Did you come to that conclusion? If so, comment below 
And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.